Tonight, search and rescue crews are looking for three men who may have drowned near Three Mile Slough Bridge near Brannon Island State Recreation Area. Officials say this all happened when a child needed, needed to be rescued from the water and five adults jumped in, but three never made it out of the water. Thanks for being with us tonight for Fox 40 News at 10. I'm Eric Rucker. Fox 40's Garsh Paul Sanga joins us live from that area with what we are learning about exactly what happened. Garsh Paul, what can you tell us? And Eric, there's been a lot of agencies that have been involved in this search. Uh, the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office, the Coast Guard, and also the Rio Vista Fire Department. And it happened, it may be difficult to see, but it happened near the waterway right over here. And tonight we're learning a little bit about the three men who are missing tonight. Tonight the search continues for three missing people near the Three Mile Slough Bridge in Sacramento County, in the air and on the ground, as family and friends watch. Two guys down that way. And the other guys go down that way. Chris Morales says he has been friends for years. The three men from Oakland who have been missing. He identified them as Castillo Rivas, Edwin Perez, and Danilo Gutierrez. You know, all the family is in Guatemala. Morales says they have been coming to the spot of Brennan Island State Recreation Area for years. You're coming every July 4, you come in, you know, camping. You come into the swimming, uh, fishing, you know, it's because every year coming right here. Officials say a total of five adults were fishing on the riverbank and a child was swimming. And then the child began to drown and then all five adults went into the water to save the kid. Two came out of the water, but the other three didn't. This is an unguarded swim beach, so we do not have lifeguards on duty. Brennan Island is only open during weekends for day use and boat launch. Officials say after they exhausted all search efforts, then they switched to recovery. And the winds have been whipping here pretty good all day, and at some occasions it's been close to 20 miles per hour, but you can see the effect it's had on the water. At some occasions it's been causing those mini waves, and officials say that is what makes it dangerous. Making just for difficult swimming conditions out here. What was meant to be a celebration on this 4th of July weekend, leaving friends and family unsettled. Water does look relatively inviting, but the current is misleading, um, and unfortunately part of the cause for the incident today. And officials did tell us that the three men were not wearing a life jacket here. So they will be out here tomorrow to see if they can find those three men and try to give some of these friends and family some closure. Reporting live in Sacramento County, I'm Garge Paul Sunga, Fox 40 News.